Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a way on how to download and install CarBridge. Now, what is CarBridge, you may ask? CarBridge is a free-to-download app that you can get on both iOS and Android that, leads, that lets you bridge your car, your phone system to your car stereo system. Um, and this is working for Apple CarPlay and, and stuff like that. So what does this actually mean? This means you can put on YouTube on your screen right there. You can put on YouTube on your car system and it's literally that easy. Um, there's other app, every app that you can put on um, your iPhone, you can put on your screen on your screen. So if you've got streaming services, you can put them straight from here onto your car screen and stream it um, and you know basically watch it in your car if you want to. So CarBridge is an amazing app and today I'm going to show you guys how to install it here for free. So as you guys can see, um, it is that one right there. Um, and it's a free to download app um, like I said, both for iOS and Android. And if you're on iPhone, um, this is working on iOS 15. It probably it will work on 16, 14, 13. Whatever you're on, it should work. Um, and you won't need to jailbreak. So if you're worried about that, um, you don't need to do that anymore, guys. So don't worry about that. Um, it's going to be a free, no jailbreak coverage download. And if you're on Android, it's just going to download the APK file super easy for you. So let's go ahead and show you guys actually how to do this in my car right now. But what I'm going to do is um, start screen recording right here. And I'm gonna put on the screen recording and we'll chuck it up here now. And this is gonna be basically what you're gonna have to do. So make sure you obviously got a mobile device near you. You can do this on an iPad as well, um, but it's way better just to do it on an iPhone as a mobile device is easier. All right, so what I first want you guys to do is simply head over to Safari and go to google.com, everyone knows how to do that. And what you wanna do is just go to this website here called CarBridge App. So type in a Google CarBridge App and you're going to see carbridgeapp.com. Only go to the .com one. Don't go to the .app. doesn't work. Go to carbridgeapp.com. So you can either just type in carbridge, but make sure it says carbridge app install, no jailbreak, iOS 15 in. Just make sure you go to the .com, okay? Because that .coms are the real ones. All right, so once you've done that, click on that, and it's going to load to carbridgeapp.com. And it's going to say, where do you want to download carbridge? So it's going to say, for iOS and Android, you can scroll down and read it about it. Bridge any app from your phone in your car, device system, um, some features and stuff like that. You guys don't really need to know that. Anyway, basically, yeah. So this is basically what it's going to look like in your car system. You can put YouTube on your car stereo system just like that. So what we're going to do is just scroll up and go to download now. And go, and you're going to see iOS right there. Or Android, depending if you're on Android, you click that, obviously. I'm on iOS, so you press start installation. And we're just going to wait for this to finish. So it's going to wait for this to install. Um, once this is done installing, um, we're then going to go ahead and we should have then coverage actually installed in our device and we should be all good. So let's just wait for that to finish. All right. And this should take about one minute to complete. And then you guys have got coverage. So very, very easy. Thanks to carbridgeapp.com. They're doing it all for us. So as you guys can see, downloading. Okay. And yeah, there are going to be some other steps after this process, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Like I said, it's super easy, um, and this does not cost you anything. This is completely free, um, and this is what a lot of people use. If you can't, you know, can't afford an expensive car that can actually put stuff, stream it into your st stereo system, um, we'll do this method right here. So, alrighty. All right, so it says installing right now. So as you guys can see, it's going to take us to this page right here. It's going to say, please install some free things to get this on your mobile device. Um, these require you to run a thing or whatever. Then you need at least two to three to get coverage installed. So I want you guys to go ahead and get two of these things. They're completely free, like I said. Um, and you won't, it won't take too long, so make sure you just get two. So go get this one. Okay. Download that one. And yeah, it's only like 57 megabytes. Uh, I'm on 4G right now, so um, if you're worried about that, just make sure you're on Wi-Fi. You don't need to be like, it's these apps, this one's like 16 megabytes, so yeah, everyone has a lot of data nowadays. But if you don't, um, go on home Wi-Fi or something like that. See, 27 megabytes, so it's all good. Nice and small. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, we've just done those two applications. So that's all it said, you need to two to three. Um, if that doesn't work for you, try 
the other ones in that list that can be buggy. Um, they just want you to open up and complete, and this will kind of like package Carbridge in these applications and install it to your device. And this is going to be the same for Android as well, guys, so make sure you're doing that as well. And once you've done that, that should be that first application done. This one wants us to go ahead and do this one. Now, guys, these apps are going to be like completely different, so um, no matter what you do, um, they're all they're always going to be different every single day. So just kind of change it up. Um, and then once you've done that, guys, that should be it. Um, you should have now those two applications kind of configured and installed. You will now have um, the Carbridge app, obviously, installed on your now installed on your device. So once you've got Carbridge, you can go ahead and delete those applications. So let's go ahead and delete them. You won't need them anymore. And now you'll have the Carbridge app automatically installed. You can now plug this in into your um, car system and then you can go ahead and then bridge all those apps from your phone to your car device so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you need any help drop a comment below thanks guys thanks so much thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video